everyone it's the infinite realms here and um today i want to talk about dr strange and the multiverse of madness it is the second film with dr strange as the lead character in his own film um very fresh film that i uh, i just finished watching uh, a while ago but nevertheless i thought it was interesting to bring some light upon it and there won't be any spoilers so you won't have to worry about that um this is gonna be a brief um a brief video just kind of talking about the film and you know just kind of dissecting it a bit so um the first thing i can say about the film is that uh the antagonist while you might not feel that is very surprising of whom it might be, it is what it is in that sort of sense. Um, you know, uh, I don't think Marvel is necessarily running out of villains either. It's just what the film was um, meant to be was the story was trying to tell was Doctor Strange I also think there is a very um, probably like oblivious moments in the film where things were being done in a way where you know Doctor Strange is needing some sort of um, spell of some sort or something of a sort to defeat the antagonist and while the antagonist is sending uh, a sort of goon to do the dirty work um, Doctor Strange like forgets that he's being chased down by someone that's extremely dangerous and can literally destroy things very easily and he is like shocked that even through very powerful barriers that you know he has no sense of what he's dealing with almost and I think he gets himself killed almost every <laughs> almost every time he has to confront with that antagonist so I know that's not very surprising for uh, Avenger films. You know, it's always life and death, pretty much. But you would think that they would have some urgency to do certain things so they're not always near death as many times as they would like not need to be. So, um, I know this is uh, very strange to hear a lot of vagueness <laughs> but it will make sense once you watch the film which I do recommend highly um, you know it, it's strange giving me a it's strange giving a rating too on this film because I'm uh, I'm kind of torn between um, like perhaps like a I would say between a 77 to 85 percent range um, because justifiably the movie is great has great visuals has great CGI if any used which I'm sure there is um, you know it's a spectacle it's meant to surprise you and those sort of things visually but story-wise it's done the same with another film from DC, such as Wonder Woman, 1984. And uh, in the last scene where you would think there would be something more to, to see than just what it was, you know, that, uh, falling short of something bigger that 
could have been done, but um, I don't think it was a bad ending though. For this film, I don't see it as bad. I just see it as not as exciting. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Everything doesn't have to be as insane as killing Thanos, but it certainly wasn't as as that. So, you know, it's just, that's just what it is. And um, it doesn't make it a bad film. I just think that it makes the film fall short on something that it could have had, but didn't. And that doesn't make it a terrible film. So that's why it's kind of hard uh, giving a precise uh, rating. Um, I think it was really good to see other cameos of other um, famous actors, act actresses. There's gonna be a lot of that, even with uh, like seeing how other types of Avenger organizations are named different or look different or different environments and just like the rules of like different universes that's going to be very interesting so uh yeah I apologize if I uh ranted quite long enough but I just wanted to make some things clear that um isn't easy to talk about without giving spoilers so that's all I have for today and uh have a good day